Let's draw a scale diagram to solve this problem. I'm gonna get an idea of what's happening here just by drawing a uh, just a quick uh, sketch of the situation. Sketch means I don't really need a ruler or a protractor, just freehand it. Diagram of the situation, three forces pulling on a mass. Uh, step two, I'm going to uh, draw a tip to tail vector diagram. I'll just sketch it again, okay? I'll get the scale diagram in a moment. to get a good idea what's happening. Now before I start sketching or drawing any vector, I'm going to put a little XY coordinate grid there. And of course when we add vectors, they have to be added tip to tail. Okay. And that means my resultant would be like so. And the resultant is always set to be a tip to tip, so that's going to be downwards like that. There's my resultant, that's what I'm looking for. And as far as that goes, XY grid, use your protractor for this. I need to set up a scale, and I think I'm going to have um, a scale where uh, 10 newtons is going to be equivalent to one centimeter. I think that'll work, okay? So, I need to draw my first vector. Now, the order you draw them in doesn't really matter, but I'll draw them in the order given. And that's going to be 60 degrees up from the X, 50, 60. Oh boy, I'm sort of overlapping my diagrams there. It's not the best thing. Okay, like that. And I need 2.5 centimeter long line there, 2.5 centimeters. So that's going to be right to here. Now, instead of doing the vector arrows, I'm going to push my pencil down here and make a little divot right there. Because I'm gonna get more precise results if I always start exactly the same spot there and divot will help my pencil find that spot. One, I must precisely draw in my XY coordinates. So, here. on the go. Fantastic. Now I need to go uh, 40 newtons and down. That was uh, 50 degrees there. That's right. I should put this here. So I'll put it there. 50 degrees. So count it down. There's 50. A little reference point there. And this vector is going to be four centimeters long. Let the pencil find the divot. It's always going to be tip to tip, so start at the beginning there. There's my resultant vector, right? Now I can measure that. Let's see what we get. Let's measure the length of this resultant here. 1.22 centimeters. It'll be the same thing as 12.2 newtons. So I'm going to have the length of that line. 47.7 degrees or thereabouts. Okay, so every measurement is an estimate, of course. 47.7 degrees. lined up real nicely and then I can get that on the go like so and I'm going to see let's see 50 51 and a bit oh, let's say 51 point uh, 51.2 degrees okay 51.2 degrees so it looks like uh, for a scale diagram answer here I get a net force 
of 12 newtons, 51 degrees south of east. How does that compare to the calculated value? We'll find out.